Hi. Sorry I can't be with you right now, um, but with everything going on, I still thought it would be a good idea for me to try and introduce you to some new products of ours, which I would have loved to have come in person and shown you. And today we're going to have a look at Stacco. Stacco is a modular case lighting, museum lighting product, which is stackable. A little bit of background to this. You might be familiar with a product line of ours called Atto. Atto is a very small base of fittings, a collection of fittings, which all are 1.2 watts, about 100 lumens. If you could imagine a stackable version of Atto, that's where we get to Stacco. Here's a quick close-up of the case. The sample case is made up of brushed aluminium fittings, which are all 3000 Kelvin, although, of course, other finishes are available, and 2700, 3000 and 4000 Kelvin are standard offerings. These fittings are also 95 CRI. This is my stacker case. It's got all the different elements that we need, and I'm going to try and go through them all very quickly for you. These two pieces are the most important to start with. They are the mini points, a surface mini point and a node mini point that has some recess depth. Important to remember is that Stacco, like Atto, is constant current. And if I have multiple mini points driven for one driver, but I only have one of the mini points filled, I will need to close that other mini point circuit to let the power flow. So I'm going to use a blanking cap into the node and now the only mini point accessible is this one. If I want to enact it, I can pick up a single aim piece. It is tiltable and rotatable 360 degrees. And if I want to operate it, I simply plug it in. As I said, I can rotate it round. I can point it at other beautiful stacko pieces we're gonna see in a second. And if I don't want it anymore, I just pull it out. If I want to add another aim, I can plug an aim with the mini point built in, and then the single aim in the top, plug that in, and now I have two. But I may want to separate these two by a certain distance. So that's where we have blank sections. Now these can be any length you wish, really. This one is just size so that it fits neatly in my case but I have my single aim with a mini point in the top, a blanking piece, and then another one. But you might be shouting at me saying, Matt, 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 no, no, no. I need to go much higher than that. And I say, well, that's fine. How about though we bring into play a 500 lumen backfill flood, a fixed five as we call it. But I still want my single aim on the top. So now I can backfill with 500 lumens, nice and punchy, and I can have a single spotlight picking up whatever I want over there. But you'll say, no, Matt, you're not getting it. Why don't you listen? Not many people have said that to me, actually, but now I can plug in what we call a triple tilt. This is a fixed tilt with 300 lumens and a mini point in the top, and I can plug that in and then take my single aim and plug that in too. So now I can fire light down, which I'm doing there, and I still have my, my floods there. I can separate the two. So hopefully you're getting an idea of how modular the system is. The basic elements are the single tilt, the triple fixed with tilt, and that is a set angle, but you can change the beam angles too. These are also either available with the mini point top or without it, and then it's much shorter. And there are also caps, which are the same diameter as this, if you want to just finish with this one, but you want it to look a little bit prettier and continue the circuit in the top. This is an example of a short extension. So the extensions are multiple lengths. But when you have all these different elements, including my absolute favorite, which is a triple tilt, where each of these three elements are independently tiltable 
and Hannibal. Wouldn't it be nice if we could use them in other orientations other than mounted at the base of a cabinet? So that's where we have these other mounting options. These are two of those. These can both do a similar job, or they can be wired differently depending on how you want to do things. This can either be a side mounted mini point position, which is driven both with power up and down. So if you imagine that being mounted into a wall, we could then have something going in the top and being powered and something in the bottom also being powered. The other piece that I picked up looks similar, but in fact has only a mini point on one side and a jack on the other. This is useful when, like in this case, I want to either complete a circuit or continue a circuit through, but with side support. But I also might want to carry on with a new power supply. And that's very helpful when you want to go above 10 LEDs in a line. Although drivers are much more powerful than 10 LEDs in a line, the jack plug system is limited to 34 volts. And that's why we go up by 10, you then stop, feed it in again, and go up by another 10. One of my personal favorites uses this piece. We would of course make this stem much longer in this case, but then we have a picture light, either using floods, or even triple tilts. If you imagine my stomach is the picture, although it's certainly not a picture, I can then aim these fittings onto that from that point, just as a picture light would do. But down the line, if you need to change this, you can unplug that and just use this piece. So it really is quite a good modular system. I've certainly seen nothing like this personally before, the other question we frequently get asked is how do we support longer heights? And we have a few options. This is one I happen to have in the case. This is a magnetic support. So if we start to go up quite high, this gets mounted into the wall and I clip that on there and you can see it adds quite a lot of structural support. If I pop that off, I can then pull that element out and move on. With any case, lighting product, you also need the famous goalpost system. The stem lengths, of course, can be changed, but these are mini point goalposts. How they work is much like any other. You take a fitting that you want to use, you plug it in, and you install it. In this case, I can mount them into the case, but I'm sure you get the idea. And then of course it's tiltable too. And you may be saying to yourself, what finishes is it available in? Well, I have a wonderful set of finishes here. And if you forgive me looking like Edward Scissorhands for a few seconds, you can see them. So polished brass, brushed brass, black, white, nickel, and our famous rub bronze. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it didn't go on too long. I hope you're managing to keep safe, get some work done when you can. Um, but when this all blows over, I hope to come in and see you. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. But thank you so much for your time. Take care.